recovering from surgery recently. But I only got my Twitch account back. So I wanted to stream more again. Well, that was like two weeks. It's like been a bit since I've streamed. But I'm going to try. At least at the moment. Child, please don't get on me. Mystic, I love you, but this is not going to help. I know you just want to cuddle and give love, but I can't have you doing that to my stomach. I ended up doing a backup account for my Twitch. Whenever I got left out. So, if you see Pyrolashes7 as my other account, it is my account. I just had to start a backup one in case something like that happens again. Hello, Super Mario 22. Um, I am recovering from surgery the other day. It was a pretty intense surgery. Um, my stomach area has a lot of scars now. So I'm doing what I can. Um, I'm not feeling the best, but I'm hanging in there. I know it's been a while since I've streamed. Ah, Skyblock. Okay, um, I do have this as multiplayer, and I can... Mystic, why are you messing with the rug? Mystic! Um... Uh, I don't think I've played Skyblock yet, um, but I do have this one's Minecraft set up as multiplayer, and so people can join in. I just don't want them messing up what I've made so far, um, but people are welcome to play. I do have a whole Wonderland set up that I made as a playable thing that I had built for a while. But I haven't decided when I'm going to do a whole um, online play with other people on that. Maybe next month on my birthday, actually. It might be a good birthday thing to do. Is just have a big um, Wonderland Minecraft play. Because I have to set it to survival. And then people can mess with all the monster mob spawners and stuff. But I made a whole um, Wonderland build. I could probably go ahead and grab that really quick. Let me find the save and quit. Let me go ahead and open up. I'll show you what I have. Um, people were pretty surprised by it. It took me a month to get everything built in it, but, um, <coughs> ow. Hey. Hey, Cold Panda. I'm gonna show Super Mario 22. Or am I the one who built that thing? The um, Wonderland and Minecraft thing? Yes. I am recovering from surgery right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load up the, mo the Wonderland world to show, ahead, show um, them. But yeah, I had finished building it after a month. This thing. I, I understand that. Um, I ended up getting um, locked out of my account about a week ago and couldn't stream at all. And um, finally got my account back just yesterday, right after surgery, so it was kind of funny. Um, but yeah... This was the upper area and had it where people would go down the rabbit hole. And let me go ahead and jump down here. 
and um, but yeah, um, I did get all of it built. Um, I got all of it finished, and it was a lot of work. And I got the Cheshire tree. Sorry if my voice sounds a little rough. Oh, they had me intubated during surgery yesterday. I've got this whole picnic area over here and the mob spawner should be over here so when it's in survival people have monsters to fight down here. Um, my surgery was to find out what was going on with my stomach and clean all of that out and when they went to clean all of that out they had to remove at least five pounds of scar tissue that had built up and was entangled and wrapping around my my organs and um, constricting my organs from moving and stuff so it was a lot of pain and that was why I had the surgery. Well, part of it. The other part was they were fixing a few other issues and trying to make sure that I wouldn't be in as much pain. I am trying to feel a little bit better. It's a little bit hard because um, on my insides, I make the joke towards myself sometimes from like, oh man, I felt like I went through a cheese grater. And I'm like, dude, you got cut open the other day. Of course you went through a cheese grater. <laughs> I can't really laugh very much right now because that hurts. But it, it was just kind of an inside joke. <laughs> inside joke because uh, that's terrible. I'm terrible. Um, but yeah. Um, I, the good news is, is that from the surgery, I should be able to enjoy normal foods again whenever I fully heal. And I should be able to enjoy food once more um, and finally get to know what that's like again. Other than that, um, it was a pretty intense surgery. It was only supposed to last an hour, but took a total of two hours, an hour and 30 minutes for the surgery and 30 minutes to try and get me to wake up. Um, this was a whole white rabbit hotel. Um, I got that all finished and there's like three different layers. Um, but yeah, I am trying to make it through this. I've been resting a lot since yesterday. My surgery was at, was scheduled for 7 a.m. and we got there at about 5.30 when we were supposed to arrive at 5 because um, medical transportation decided they weren't going to show up so we had to figure out how to get there in time and that was just a bunch of stress not needed in the morning <laughs> so that was fun. A little fairy ring here. Um, but yeah, yesterday was a pretty intense day and everything still hurts, but I am getting through it as best as I can. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the other world I was building. You're welcome to join in on the world if you want. I just need to get it up and loaded. I think they bruised my lip when they intubated me. Um, not the Wonderland one, it should be um, this one. I'm waiting to do the Wonderland one as a multiplay for everyone until my birthday next month because I figure that would be a good um, birthday thing is to just play with some friends and stuff online on a world that I worked on really hard. It'd be a good birthday thing, is what I've decided. But for now, I'm just kind of building something random and seeing where that goes. I'm not exactly sure how long I'm going to be streaming today, 
but um, a lot of people almost lost a lot of my streams because my channel didn't have, yeah, I'm worried about people breaking stuff, which is why I'm going to save it for like my birthday because then afterwards I can just rebuild things and take time for that. Right now I wouldn't really have the time to rebuild everything if things got destroyed um, because of recovery. But I'm just kind of building what I can right now and hoping that I can at least get a little bit done. Um, I, I'm pretty nervous about like, um, people almost lost a lot of my streams for my channel because my channel got locked out for a little bit. Um, I wasn't streaming for a while, then when I decided to stream, I had two-factor authentication set up, but it was uh, four days to get that finally verified, so I couldn't stream for the past four days, even whenever I was working on like art and stuff, and it was very frustrating. Isolation can be rough. I understand that. <laughs> but yeah, um, I kind of pushed myself to live because I was like, no, no, I can't die because I promised people we'd all get to play the Wonderland thing. I promised people I'd be at the art event on Thursday and I can't break that promise. I can't give up on people. They don't give up on me. But yeah. Um, I have people I want to live for. And I want to make sure I keep living so I can make some of my dreams into realities. And kind of get goals taken care of. I even made a whole um, VTube model for the next time that I stream. I just have to work on getting that set up with the OBS streaming system. But I did make a three, 3D VTube model for next stream, which is going to be um, pretty nice once I figure that out. <laughs> That's why the icon on my channel, I changed it to my... 3D model, my Vroid model, that's what the um, picture icon on my channel is, is my Vroid. I worked on sculpting, modeling, and making clothes for her. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. I have had a lot of people that have gone through COVID and it's pretty rough. Um, I've had family that went through it. I have not been through it, but at the same time, my body wouldn't be able to handle it if I went through it because I'm immunocompromised. So um, even though I'm vaccinated and have my booster and stuff, I am still very high risk for getting sick if people have it around me. I still mask and I still take precautions, but that doesn't guarantee that I am 100% safe from it. My body tends to be a bit um, weaker than normal bodies. And I try very hard to, I guess the word would be survive. <laughs> survive would be a good way to put it. Um, I just kind of do what I can and make the best out of life for what it's worth. Uh, I apologize for not streaming very much. I've had a lot, a lot going on. Also, I recently landed like a partnership with an anime cafe here. So I've been working on making a lot of art stuff for them, for their business and stuff. So 
there had also been something going on amongst all this stuff. I've been doing a lot of stuff. And the art event is Thursday, um, is local, and I do not plan on moving around very much during it or standing very long. I'm probably going to be sitting for most of it because healing. But I promised people before the last art event last month I would still show up to the art event and I would still go and say hi to them if they showed up. So I'm keeping my promise and making sure I don't break promises that I put out beforehand. Because when I promise something, I don't want to be a liar. And I don't want to break promises. But I am glad that you enjoy a lot of the stuff I play. I figured gaming would be a little bit easier right now than getting on my computer and trying to draw on my drawing tablet because when I draw on my drawing tablet I tend to hunch over and bend over and I don't want to strain my body too much since yesterday so I have been advised by my roommates that I'm not going to be doing my drawing tablet art for a while until I am a bit more healed. So I am doing what I can and I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming today, but I am doing what I can. Hey! Welcome, welcome. Um, I don't know if I can share, ah, oh man, I don't know if I can share the invite or something. How would I invite people? Is there a way to invite people? Yeah, there is. I am okay. I'm recovering from a very intense surgery yesterday. So I'm just streaming for a little bit and letting um, people who follow or reach the channel know that I didn't die. I'm still alive. I kept going. <laughs> That's kind of a joke type thing. Like, hey, I'm not dead. I'm alive for the most part, even though I feel dead. <laughs> um, thanks. Um, if you wanted to play in Minecraft with me, I think I can invite people. Um, let me see if I have anybody. I may have to have people add me as a friend on here is what I think. Um, if you all wanted to add me on PS4 to play Minecraft, I believe my username is up above that. But um, my username is PyroAshes7 on PS4. So if you wanted to play with me, you're welcome to. I just need to know when you all are online and I could invite you to the game. But I have been sleeping quite a bit since yesterday. And to be honest, I do need it. But at the same time, I feel like I'm getting nothing done. <laughs> and um, my ADHD is kind of a butt about that. Because I'm like, oh no. I'm not doing anything. I should be doing things. And um, part of my brain goes, listen, you, you, yeah, um, Bedrock is cross-platform, I believe, so you should be able to join. Um, I just need to know a username and I can send an invite if you're a friend on here. Or you can try and, like, I don't know. I don't exactly know how it all works. And my brain isn't exactly cooperating very well right now. 
but you should be able to join because it's cross-platform. I don't currently have it on my um, computer, but I do have it on the PS4 and I have PlayStation Plus because a friend gifted me PlayStation Plus for Valentine's. And it's a Valentine's Day gift. Um, because they knew I'd be having surgery, um, in the next couple months, and so, just had surgery yesterday, and just kind of recovering at this point. Let me see if I can find, should have, oh wait, I might need to check and see if there's a friend request from you. Um, let me check that real quick. I should be, um, I feel kind of dizzy, um, friend request, no friend request, okay, back to Minecraft, okay, I didn't get a friend request, but, I'm figuring this out. My throat feels very scratchy from yesterday. I've had a lot of dizziness since the surgery. And my cats, I had to shut my cats out of my room yesterday when I got home. They kept wanting to cuddle and lay on me. And I had to let them know, I can't do that right now. I love you all, but I can't. We had to shut them out of the room. Luckily, today, when Salem decided to cuddle me, he knew. And he just slept on my legs instead of my stomach. So that was good. Except for whenever I started to wake up and he had scooted closer to my stomach. <laughs> that hurt a lot. <laughs> Right now, my stomach area is very sensitive to a lot of touch. I feel like very painful with any touch. We went ahead and cleaned up some of the incisions today. I know that's a little graphic, but I have a lot of incisions. They reopened part of my burst appendix scars, and so that made me very nervous because I don't really like all the scars on my stomach. But the good news is, is that I should be able to feel better and enjoy food again. It's been very rough not being able to eat a lot and not being able to really eat at all because of being afraid to eat because of pain. myself. <sighs> Trying very hard. I should probably probably nap after this. in better condition and could recover quicker. The last time I checked, I'm not Wolverine and I don't have a regenerative ability like that. I'm also not Deadpool. I may be scarred up quite a bit like Deadpool, but I'm not Deadpool. And Java. I'm not sure um, if that's cross-platform or not. I'd have to ask my roommates who know a bit more on that than me. But currently I don't want to get up 
and try and walk over there. I can figure it out on a better day, probably. Apologies. My body just feels like I, I make the joke towards myself. I feel like I got cut open. Bitch, you were cut open. They sliced you open, pulled out your insides, and cut you open, man. No wonder you feel like shit. <laughs> Uh, this is a bad joke. <laughs> it's like, man, if I ever get stabbed, at least I know what it feels like. <laughs> I've got to remind myself that laughing is not advisable right now. Laughing kind of hurts. <laughs> they say laughter is the best medicine. But right now, laughter is a bitch-ass medicine, okay? Hi. <laughs> That's terrible. But I wanted to let people know I am alive. Kinda. <laughs> I don't feel alive, but you know, alive as I can be. I hope I can stream past 30 minutes. sure you don't pass out. I'm sorry if I'm breathing too loud or anything. Um, I'm just kind of existing. My voice sounds like shit right now. But to be fair, pain, pain, pain makes you sound a little bit like shit. But I think recovery should go well. Please tell me you are overreacting. Um, no, not really. I had a really intense surgery yesterday and they removed five pounds of scar tissue, took out my insides and put them back in. Um, they cleaned out a bunch of scar tissue from when I had a burst appendix when I was six years old. And to fix a lot of my internal pain issues. So no, I'm not overreacting at the moment. I'm actually just trying to get through this. <laughs> I slept most of the day yesterday after my surgery and slept most of today. I'm trying not to push myself, and I wanted to try and stream because I got locked out of my account for almost a week and finally got my account back. And I wanted to stream and let people know that I'm not dead <laughs> for the most part. I feel dead, but I'm not dead. But yeah, I'm not overreacting. Just letting you know that. They had to intubate me during surgery, so my voice is a little rough right now. And I still hurt a lot. I have a lot of scars on my stomach. And just kind of trying to exist. But no, I'm not overreacting, and I'm not acting at all. I usually try to be very true to myself, and try to be upfront and honest with everyone on my streams. So yeah, I'm not overreacting. just gonna stream for like a little bit. Not a long time. Just about as much as I can handle. 
And then I'm gonna go back to resting. I'm hoping I get better soon, but I don't really have a guarantee on when I'll be better because my body takes a little bit of time to heal a bit longer than normal bodies because of my autoimmune disorder. So healing processes are always very painful. But I just wanted to kind of let people know I'm not dead. Almost, but you know, things happen. And I promised people I would make it through, so here I am. I have things I want to do and promises I want to keep. So can't really put dying on the schedule right now. <sighs> My stomach hurt. But to be fair, there's a reason it hurts. It was a lot of scar tissue. <laughs> But yeah, um, uh, people that have watched my streams before know that I was working on a Wonderland build for a while, and I got that finished. And I plan on doing a playable survival world with that on my birthday next month. And people that have me on PlayStation and stuff will be able to play with me. See, there's a bat. There's two bats. I think I might have to cap this at 45 minutes. I... <laughs> Every time I say I, I'm just like, I am Moana, I'm Matanui. You will board my boat, and you will go with me to Tufiti and put the heart back. Kind of a joke, a Disney joke. Our mobile phones. No. <sighs> yeah. Let's try and hold out 10 more minutes. And then we'll go ahead and end for the day. I appreciate everyone. I really do. And I know that. You're going through some rough stuff as well, Panda. But you'll be okay. And you've got this. I think you'll make it through okay. You're stronger than you think. Just three more minutes. I don't want to go. Another eight. Is it eight or is it? Oh no, no, I think it's six. No, is that eight? I'm out of math right now. Three, three, nine, forty, one, forty two. Yeah, be eight. It'd be eight. Okay, I think it's eight. No. Oh, I think I got that wrong. I think I got that. I don't know. Or maybe. Yeah, it'd be eight, I think. I'm not sure. I have no freaking clue right now. I have. Gotta get through this. Thank you.
instead of 45. Play. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to be able to do. everyone who hopped in, everyone who helped conversation. I appreciate you all. I'm sorry I'm not feeling the best. I hope that you all are able to join next time. But for right now, I need to end the stream. I promise, I'm going to try to get better, I'm going to try to recover as best as I can, but for right now I think I'm going to go rest a bit more, and thank you for joining, I appreciate it, for right now, it's night time where I am, so good night, take care, Best wishes with your healing and best dreams for you. I'm gonna hop.